We promised we would show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And today, can't believe we're putting this on the internet for everyone to see, but today we're going to show you our dreaded ugly. On our journey to become more minimalist means we actually have to tackle this basement because it is a dungeon. It's terrible, but we have a huge project coming up and we're gonna need a few days to get this prepped and ready to start that next big project. Let's show them. Let's go. Okay, this is the stairwell down from the mud room. It's terrible. We have our utility box, furnace. There's no flooring down here. It's completely concrete, which I think someone's painted several times. We have what we're considered the laundry room. This is not your Pinterest worthy laundry room. This is literally what we have. On the side, we have the wash tub, washer and dryer, the extras that need to go and be scrap metal to get picked up. We also have a gigantic freezer here that was left when we bought the house. I don't know how they got it in because they would have had to literally drop it in after they poured the foundation and then built the house. We're gonna have to probably cut it apart to get it upstairs. We have some original shelving down here where we have a lot of keepsake bins that need to be sorted through. We have an exposed ceiling here and terrible lighting, as you can see. It doesn't get much darker than this, and I'm standing right underneath this light fixture. So sorry for the bad lighting in this video, but we wanna show you really what this is like so you can see the transformation over the next couple of weeks. So let's go to the other side of the basement. Quite a large basement space. So we have a dreaded pole, which always makes things difficult. And we have these systems for the actual furnace here, which makes this area here have a really low ceiling if you were going to actually put one in. Not to mention dividing these two spaces into rooms will be very, very difficult because of this furnace here. So this is the other side of the basement. As you can see, Philip and I are in perfect health and super buff. So we are down here working out all the time, not. So this is actually going to turn into a really amazing functional home gym, yoga studio. We're gonna have a whole bunch of different areas on this whole side. And so we are going to be doing a complete renovation of this basement space and make this actual usable floor space and add to the areas of our room, of our home, that actually is meaningful to us and purposeful. So we need to go through all of the stuff that's down here. Flooring, drywall, framing, painting. We have some pretty creative ideas up our sleeves for this space. But if you really look around, you can really see really how bad it is down here. So we have sort of a main partition wall here actually started, which we did four years ago, yeah. I think. And we kind of like gave up on that project because we ended up doing our move. And you can see we have styrofoam. I won't scratch it for you, Phil, but these walls are actually styrofoam, if you can see them on the camera, not drywall. And super old were probably put up when this house was actually built. Yeah. And it's exposed, you can see here, in a lot of areas. This is just literally the most glamorous mint green paint. The lighting that's down here is super gloomy and we really wanna brighten this space up by adding some updated light fixtures. And because we have this exposed ceiling, we have an idea on how we're going to make this look like a taller space. Just a few little paint techniques that are going to make this space look a lot taller for us. And we don't feel so closed in. We also wanna add a bunch of color. So we're not planning on painting the walls down here all white. We want to actually have some feature walls down here and create areas in our gym and additional space, I'm not going to tell you the name of, um, down into this space and really divide it up into really functional, purposeful places for us to do different things that we like to do. Because if you've been watching our channel, Philip and I are going to go on a huge healthy lifestyle 360 completely because we do want to be like, we're healthy and buff and use yeah. this equipment down here. And this is just not a motivating space to want to come down and work out and get healthy. And so one of our goals for 2021 is to do just that, to get healthy, get back in shape. I'll have to show you some pictures of Philip and I a few years back. <laughs> and those are like our inspiration pictures of what we looked like a few years ago. We are hearing from you guys with our feedback on our videos that you guys want to come along on this journey with us. So this is the perfect project for us to tackle next. So you're going to see the boys bathroom renovation this week, and we're going to get right into starting minimalizing, clearing out this space and doing this renovation. So we're going to team up with our favorite brand, Home Hardware and do a complete makeover on the side of the basement. So we're really excited about that and we have some big plans. We can't wait to show you. So there's another area of this basement that I do want to work on as a future project as we get into a lot more of an off-grid homesteading type content and that is a cold room. So we have a great size cold room in this basement that we don't utilize and we've actually just had storage in it for the whole time pretty much we've lived here. So I do want to do a revamp on that space eventually, but we're not going to tackle that until we're finished our basement side on here for the gym because we need to be working out down here. Mm. But we have this great equipment and we have a few other things we want to add to this space down the road, like a treadmill and some other type of maybe elliptical machine or something that the kids will also like to use. And we're going to get 
using this large space that we have that is really so much square footage on our house that we're missing out on. So I have a funny story to tell you guys. It's actually kind of creepy, but kind of funny at the same time. So Philip and I have lived here for about seven years and we actually found a secret room in this house that we didn't know for a long time when we lived here was even here. So because the basement is all boarded up with styrofoam around the entire perimeter of the basement, they did that to make the basement look better, I think, when we were moving in here and just tried to glorify this dungeon basement. But I guess we kind of fell for it because it really wasn't seemingly that bad or overwhelming at the time. Right. We were so excited to buy our first home. Yeah. But you can see that there is glue here and styrofoam stuck to it. So there was one of these great four by eight sheets of styrofoam covering right. these two strips here. Yes. So in starting to do a few renovations down here when we were trying to drywall and make a partition side, we discovered that there's a room here. And so it had this little lock on it and we had no idea what we we're going to find. So we hesitated and opened up the door and we found a cold room. A cold room. Had we not, opened up and taken down a piece of styrofoam because it was really stained, we would have never known that there was a secret room in the basement. So weird, but we lived here for a substantial amount of time before we even knew that it was here. It's and underneath our, room? yeah, it's underneath of our, <laughs> no, this is underneath our closet, our front entry. Our front entry closet. Yeah, this is all our front entry. That's why our front entry closet is, is a little bit colder and yeah. they have the styrofoam. That's how I found it because of the cold air coming through the wall. I came downstairs and I was like, why is it so cold in here? And then I ripped the styrofoam off and I was like, honey. It is cooler in here and it yeah. is a cold room and it would be perfect for us to actually store a lot of our produce that we're growing and different things, canning, doing some of our homesteading and having an actual spot to put it. Since you don't have a large kitchen, this is really a perfect spot, but it's awful in here. So we would need to do a renovation in this space, build shelving, make it look a lot nicer and obviously cleaner than it is right now. So everything that's down here is pretty much original. We haven't touched anything in this space, but shoving a few things in here. Yeah. So yeah, purposeful space, but we don't use it. So we need to make use of all the spaces, but so funny to find a secret room in our house. There was no gold in it though. No gold in it though. <laughs> it's like when we found diamonds in the wall in the bathroom. Yeah. Why isn't this room full of diamonds? <laughs> Come on. A, a secret room was pretty cool, but then when you open it, there was nothing in it. No, there was just like, um, what were they, vegetable cells and bins in here? Yeah, yeah. a couple onion yeah. peels and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and all the canning jars. There was, yeah, there was canning rotting, jars. disgusting canning jars yeah. in here that who knows how many years they've been here. But. <laughs> so we wanted to show you what the basement looked like so you guys will understand what the transformation will be like over the next week or so while we get ready and organized down here to start this huge renovation. We have a lot of work to do down here and so we want to finish up the boys rooms upstairs in the next couple days and start minimalizing and decluttering and organizing down here so we're going to be going through everything you guys are going to see the complete transformation of this as we go through all of the items down here we have a lot of work to do we're going to need some cheering on for sure because this isn't like the fun parts when you start to install everything back in not sorting through all of your old stuff to get rid of things so we have a lot of purging to do, a lot of donating. We're gonna go through absolutely everything. So stay tuned if you're excited about this series and you're not part of our YouTube family yet, hit subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And we are gonna be doing content also of doing our healthy lifestyle. So if that's something that you wanna join us on, let us know in the comment section. We're trying to get a gauge of how many of you are excited about doing this with us because we're gonna need some major backup. So if all of you would like to join us, the more the merrier, we can keep each other motivated. And Philip and I are actually thinking of posting some daily content in addition to what we do with our creative content of our actual workouts, just raw footage, real life from beginning to end of us doing our journey of getting healthy. And I think it could be a little bit scary footage in the beginning, but hopefully it starts to be a little more pleasing to watch as we get going. But we wanna show you real life because when you follow people's journeys online, you get to see the glamorous side of everything. And we really wanna show you what work we have to put in to be able to get to the point we wanna be in. So right. Philip is insisting that you guys see exactly from the before and we'll be labeling them like day one through however many days until we're at our goal and then we'll continue with what we're gonna do. So You're on board though. I'm totally on board. Yes, I'm fully on board. Um, I'm not sure about the before photos. <laughs> People are gonna like run away, but we're gonna show you guys the good, the bad and the ugly. We promised you guys that from the beginning, so that's what you're gonna get. So stay tuned. We have lots coming your way in terms of that. But this is our dreaded basement. You haven't seen it because it's so bad, but it's gonna get better, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today we wanted to really show you what this was all about. 
We really appreciate your support. We're going to need all the support we can get on this renovation. We love you and we will see you tomorrow because we're going to be getting through this basement and you're also going to see the bathroom makeover. Our 24 hour bathroom makeover we did upstairs in the boys rooms. I've seen it. It's pretty awesome. Don't miss it. Also check out Philip and I on Instagram because we're posting behind the scenes sneak peeks and things that you maybe won't get to see on the channel on our Instagrams and our stories. So I'll put the links to those down below. Love ya. See you tomorrow.